love the startup and the SME community here. There's so many cool companies with cool ideas, with cool products. In fact, one of the ones right over here, I love robotics. We're gonna find out a little bit more about Hills. Let's say hello to Hills Robotics. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, nice to meet you, Alex. My name is DK. Yeah. We are here at Robotics, uh -huh. which is, uh, so we are production industrial robot or some say it's a robot yeah. to customer or other country. Mm. Yes. And of course, this is not your first time at CES, right? You're actually a previous award winner yes, multiple times. Course. Yeah, right. Uh, so let's look at some of these uh, products that you have here. I mean, just jump right into it. Where do you want to start with? Yeah, we can start with the first one. Okay. Can I? Can I? Yeah. Oh. This one is, uh, we can call the high bot. This uh -huh. is a uh, uh, docent, docent robot. Oh, okay, yeah, I see. Yeah. So it's a docent robot, and obviously there's screens in front of it right here. Um, That's right. Well, so what can it do, and where do you use it? So this is very useful for the providing information or teaching to oh. customer or oh. some young people. So you can, we can also, this is using in public location in South Korea. Oh, I'd imagine like, Something like a mall or something would be a great place. The That's airport. Right. Yeah. Uh, where is it being used now? Is it in, Not in Goyang Museum in oh, South Korea? That's a great idea too. Museums, of course, would be a great place for that. Yeah, which is very famous for location in South Korea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Goyang's great. Been there plenty of times. So, uh, so you have a Dawson robot that can give all this information. It can teach. It can give directions. Whatever it is. Um, and there you go. So, what's the name of this one again? Uh, Highbot. Highbot. Okay, yeah. perfect. The, yeah, this robot was uh, including including the function to avoiding the people or some obstacles. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is very useful in location. Ab absolutely, yeah. great idea for one. Yeah. Um, so that's one of the robots you have. You have another one right here, correct? Yeah, this is a uh, we can call the um, robot. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is for logistics robot. Yeah. Yeah, you can using the robot in industrial location or some factory yeah. or some big marks. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is very uh -huh. helpful for the worker. So what? What's like the payload? How much can it carry? Yeah, 100 kilograms. Oh, very cool. So we got a logistics robot here, and it does it have the same functionality? Like it can it can stop if there's people in front. Is there anything else it can do? Yes, of course. This is a vision camera. Uh -huh. So. If the robot meeting the some people who are obstacles, yeah. the robot can be stopped in front of the people. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. So and then the robot also have a function to and following the person. Oh really? For uh -huh. worker. So you can like I can if it's heavy something's heavy I just put it on the back of that and yeah. say hey let's go yeah follow me. Follow yeah that's right <laughs> that's awesome yeah so it, and we can set up the destination uh -huh. and then the robot go to the mm. destination and then yeah. The carry on the a lot of something, mm -hmm. yeah, to destination. Yeah. So these are the two robots you brought here, but I noticed there's another one back here. Can you tell us a little bit about this one? Yeah, this robot we are develop now. Yeah. So we can call the Mechabot. Oh. Yeah. This is the also no, we can explain to non face to robot. And it's like a non face to face. So you're. Oh, I see. Nowadays, especially after COVID, a lot of people are trying to avoid contact. So you sit down here, and, and how right. does it work exactly? Uh, first one, we can and set up the communication for doctor and patient. Mm. Oh, so it's even taking blood pressure as well yes, in there. We are able now, because uh, now nowadays we are a lot of uh, some old people and over and over yeah. like that because uh, we need uh, some yeah needed to and this kind of a robot. Mm -hmm. So, and... Well, certainly, like, Korean hospitals are getting very crowded nowadays, too. Yeah, Even well, after COVID, it's, there's always a line to get in, and there's a lot of the big hospitals really are struggling to get patients yeah. through the door and, and just get them in. So this is the solution for, uh, I guess, it's like the entry step for a lot of things, right? And, and uh, the first step at getting diagnoses and stuff? Uh, yes, first one, and the patient, if the, it, if the patient sit on the our robot yeah. and they can treatment of some kind of pressure and yeah. heart pressure right, or right. some Check on yeah, temperature uh -huh. yeah that. great so it's almost like a nurse a, uh, yes. a robotic nurse a small, almost. small nurse <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. These are the three products, two of them on display right now that we got to check out and one that's in development. So you're here at CES 2024. Yeah, right. What is your goal this week as a company? Are you looking for investment, buyers? What are we looking for? Yeah, our goal is uh, because uh, we are so unbelievable kind of a robot. So we are looking for the other country customer who are some in 
domestic com consum sure. yeah. uh, customer like that. So we have to extend the some market. Yeah, absolutely. We so, are, yeah, yeah. So there you go. Uh, these robots that use LiDAR to create these 3D generated maps are becoming better and better every year. And you've got two examples here of, uh, of a logistics one, of one that's uh, a docent. Uh, yeah. Basically, yeah. and a future one for medicine too. Very cool products. Thank you so much for talking uh, with you're us. You're welcome. Really appreciate That's, it. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, Alex. great to meet you as well, DK. So there you go. Hills Robotics with all their robots. Check them out. Some really cool stuff right there.